Hey Jump, it's so good to be with you today. Hope you guys are all doing awesome. If you know what our theme that we are currently looking at, I want you guys to shout it out in three, two, one. Savior and King. Great job, Jump. Let's look at the memory verse together. Philippians 2, 8 and 9. Philippians 2, 8 and 9. Philippians 2, 8 and 9. Jesus humbled himself in obedience to God. And died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore God gave him the highest honor and gave him the name above all names. He humbled himself in obedience to God. And died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore God gave him the highest honor and gave him the name above all names. Above all names. Jesus. Humble. Obedient. Died. Highest honor. Name above all names. Name above all names. Name above all names. Savior and King. Savior and King. Philippians 2, 8 and 9. Philippians 2, 8 and 9. Jesus humbled himself in obedience to God. And died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore God gave him the highest honor and gave him the name above all names. Oh, oh my bad, my bad. Sorry, jump. Now, last week we had our friend Eilish who talked about how Jesus defeated death and reigns victorious. How great is that? Jump, did you know that two years ago, England got a new king? People would celebrate him, honor him, and clothe him in fancy clothes. But today I wanna to talk about a king who loves you and has done so much for you and has done more than any king in the world. I want to talk to you about following Jesus as our King. That's got me wondering, Jump, if Jesus is our King and we see how people of today honour the King Charles, how should we honour and live for our true King, Jesus? Let's have a look at what Romans 12 verse 1 says. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Here we see Paul who is writing this is telling us to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. What does that look like? Well, Paul tells us further what this looks like in scripture. We're to live a life that is holy and pleasing to God. This is our true and proper worship. So just like the people of England honoring King Charles with fancy food, fancy clothes, and listening to what he says, for us to honor and live for our King Jesus, there are two things in particular Paul instructs us to do. Everybody shout out number one. So good, I can hear you all the way from here, Alfie from YRE. The first thing is that we are to be a living sacrifice. What does that mean? Great question, Andrew from Wangara. Being a living sacrifice means that we need to daily sacrifice the wants of the flesh. The flesh is our sinful earthly nature. This can be things like watching inappropriate movies, listening to music with swearing, or even things like playing too much video games. We must replace those things with listening to music that brings glory to Jesus, reading the Bible, and praying to God. For me, being a living sacrifice might look like sacrificing my time in the morning where I could be getting a little bit more sleep and actually wake up a little bit earlier and read the Bible, pray, and spend time in God's amazing presence. There's one more thing that Paul instructs us to do. Everybody shout out, number two! Our second point is that we are encouraged to live a life that is holy and pleasing to God. This brings us to another scripture where one of the disciples actually asked Jesus, 
a question, and we see it in Matthew 22, verse 36 to 38. Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and all your mind. This is the first and greatest. Wow! So Jesus tells us to follow him as our king, just like the people of England love their king, which love King Jesus with all our heart, our mind and our soul. Jump! By doing so, we're going to be transformed. Somebody shout, transformed! Great stuff, Cork. I can hear you all the way from Australia. By loving King Jesus with all that we are, our whole heart, our mind and our soul, we will be transformed to look like Jesus. Therefore, we will live a life that is holy and pleasing to God. So let's go through that one last time. The two things that we're instructed to do to follow Jesus as our King is number one, be a living sacrifice. And number two, what is it? To live a holy and pleasing life to God. Wow, great job remembering both of those two points, Asha from Port Kennedy. I hear you. Well, Jump, before I go, I'd love to pray for you. So why don't you close your heads and bow your eyes? Wait a minute. You can't close your head and bow your eyes. Just wanted to see if you guys were paying attention. I see a few of you guys in Belmont try to do that. Okay, let's pray. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that we get to follow you as King. Jesus, we love you. We praise you, we worship you. Help us to live as a living sacrifice, that we will sacrifice our time and that we'll put you, Jesus, first. And Lord Jesus, we pray that um, we'll live a life that is holy and pleasing to you, Lord. I thank you that, um, yeah, you give us your Holy Spirit to do so. In Jesus' name, amen. Great to see you guys again. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great Sunday.